have called this action in light of the deplorable decision from the ALP Minns government to demolish Waterloo South, evict a thousand public housing tenants and privatise the, si the site for developer profits. Shame. Shame. All of the things that are put in place to make sure Aboriginal families are thriving here have been destroyed. That's why my mum, Jenny Munro, set up the tent embassy down the block for more than two years. Now what kind of commitment are we going to see from this, from the new announcements this week? The announcements that we've all been dreading, everybody that's been following what's been happening, the Action for Public Housing mob has been at the forefront. Apart from breaking their promises, the government said last week that we live in squalor, uh, if anyone does, that's their fault. And I don't think the answer to a leaking roof in one apartment is to knock down the whole friggin' block. Yeah. Also, they said we are a social experiment that failed. Well, I've spent half my life as a lab rat in that case, and I don't wish to be discarded with the Petri dish. Is this disgusting concept at the idea of it's a failed project, that no one would ever do that again? Well, what you wouldn't do again is you wouldn't privatise the maintenance contracts so they're run by for-profit entities and allow the stock to be run down to that level. What you would never do again is build that public housing and not keep building public housing so that people who were teachers, nurses, doctors, were people that wanted to live in housing and public housing could pay a percentage of their income and live in public housing, which is what used to happen. That is how you go about increasing the diversity of who lives in a state is actually keep building the public housing so the 51,000 people, are actually it's actually applicants, so it's probably close to 100,000 people, could move into the public housing. That's how you get diversity in public housing. You don't get diversity in public housing by creating these horrific concepts of segregation, which is what we'll see if they go ahead in Waterloo. There's 749 dwellings right now, right? They're increasing the density. Don't get me wrong, because they'll all be on at me at Twitter saying, Jenny, you're misquoting the numbers. Well, let's talk about it in the percents, because they're talking about percents. They're going to have a 300% increase in density. Now, you would think that you'd use that 300% increase in density to get rid of the priority public housing waiting list in our city. Yeah. Now, if they want to deliver 100% public housing on that site with that level of density, let everyone live in public housing and solve the housing crisis, maybe we'd be having a different kind of gathering here. Make it, make That's it. not their fucking plan. Their plan is a 300% increase in density. What's the interest increase in public housing? Oh, it's a loss because they're not going to offer any public housing. Save public housing! Yes, we can. from the mighty Maritime Unit of Australia. They are also intertwined with the CFMU, the Construction Forum Through Mining Energy Union. That's the, the union that's replaced the Builders Labourers Federation who saved a lot of Sydney from demolition. So let's give it up for Paul! This idea of social housing, dead set fucking con. Uh, we see it with the... Um, with the propaganda from uh, Albanese throwing that stuff out, 1.2 million homes uh, to be built, but it's social housing. Let me tell you this, not one home is going to be public housing in that. Uh, less than 2% of homes being built today are public housing in this country, less than 2%. You know, 30 years ago, it was nearly, nearly 20% of all homes that were being built were public housing. I was born in a housing commission, like many of us, like all those working class communities that fought for the right for dignity of life, which meant the right for a decent home, uh, a home that we could stay in for our whole lives, that our families could um, you know, uh, flourish and our communities could grow. And we've seen for 30 to 40 years, the neoliberal agenda. And Labor's position is this, they don't like it, and they don't like you saying it. But their agenda on housing 
is a neoliberal agenda. Yeah. It's about after 12 years of that rotten liberal national state government, we get a new government that's not doing any different. Say Waterloo! Yes, we can! 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 Yes, we can! Say Waterloo! Yes, we can! Say Waterloo! Yes, we can! Yes, we can. Say what, honey? Yes, we can. Say what, honey? Yes, we can. Say what, honey? Yes, we can.